In this video, I'm going to provide you with my initial thoughts around Adobe Presenter Video Express. I've been using Adobe Presenter Video Express, or PVX as I've now called it, um, for about a week or two now just to try and find out if this is a solution that could replace my current workflow when I'm creating uh, video tutorials for my YouTube channel. And um, I just wanted to share with you guys my initial thoughts around it and, um, and give you a sense of whether this is a tool that you could add to your own e-learning utility belt. Um, I'm seriously considering uh, using this as, as my go-to video studio, if you will. And, um, but, I, you know, I'll, I'll give you my initial impressions. So when I first started using it, the, my first thought was, where are all the controls? Where is the drop-down menus? Where are all the features that I've come to get used to in applications like Adobe Captivate? Um, up until now, I've, up until very recently, um, I've been using the video demo feature to record all my video tutorials. And it's worked out really well, and it's given me a lot of editing capabilities, and and you know it's allowed me to to select my workflow and my process, and uh, perhaps that's a good thing. Uh, but maybe I can fit what I currently do into what this tool does. I like to think of this a lot. That kind of reminds me of iMovie. iMovie is a great video editing tool for the iOS environment for your. Uh, whether you're using your iPhone or your iPad, it's a, it's a great tool for that, but quite frankly, it doesn't give you a lot of options. Um, if your style of video editing fits within that particular app, then it's a fantastic tool. Presenter Video Express is kind of like that too. Some of the options that are, are available to you are very limited. Like, for example, you can't choose a lot of fonts. You can't choose a lot of special effects and so on. But you know what? It does a really good job at what it does. So let me take you through sort of a simulation of how I might record a tutorial. In this case here, I'm going to record a tutorial on how to book a vacation from a popular uh, vacation uh, website that's here in Canada. And we'll use Video uh, Express, pre uh, Presenter Video Express <laughs> PBX to record that for you. So let's start recording that right now. So once I click on that option, I'm given the uh, the create new project option. You'll see my webcam and it comes up and there's the option to make my background awesome. And this particular uh, function works, I think I would imagine it works well if your environment and your webcam are just so, unfortunately, my environment, it's kind of dark in here, so the webcam's a little grainy, and, you know, my background doesn't really contrast with myself. In fact, these curtains are a really good match for my hair. So they don't, uh, the, the, the um, changing background feature really doesn't work for me. Um, if I was to upgrade my webcam and maybe get some lighting behind my laptop so it illuminates my face better, uh, that might work out well. So for today's demonstration, I'm not going to use that feature. We're going to go straight into record here. And we're going to get the countdown. Five, four, three. Hi guys, my name's Paul, and today we're going to book a vacation from the Trip Central website. I like to start off by selecting the Vacation Packages drop-down menu and choosing cl Classic Vacation Grid. From there, I can start to filter my results to include the kinds of things that I'm looking for in a vacation. I'd like to go on this next vacation for one week. I would like all my, my, my meals included. Of course, there's only the best for me, so I'm going to choose five stars or more. And I'm looking for an adults-only resort. I don't want to make connecting flights, so direct flights only. And I don't want to pay more than about $1,300. So let's enter that in and click Apply and see what the results are. 
So it looks like my choices are Cuba, Dominican Republic, and Mexico. I've been to Mexico before and I really enjoyed it, so I think I'll select that. And the Mayan Riviera seems to be within my price point. And I'm seeing here Luxury Bahia Principe Xi'an Khan as the option. I've been to that resort before and I really enjoyed it, so I think I'll book that one. Looks like they've got some great pricing in the June time frame, so I'll choose June the 8th. And then I'm brought to this summary page where I can check the flight details and see the package inclusions and so on. So everything looks good to me. I'm going to go ahead and book this vacation. So I clicked the Adobe Presenter Video Express icon from my system tray, and now it's bringing me to this page where everything has been recorded and everything looks fantastic here. So typically what happens with uh, Adobe Presenter Video Express is that there's some branding options that you can apply to your videos once you've created them. Typically, it will apply the latest uh, branding video or branding option that you chose for your last video. In this case here, it looks like I've got the, the globe icon or the globe uh, video effect. Let's just take a quick sneak peek at that and see what that looks like. So that looks pretty good. You could actually make changes to that if you decide that, you know, maybe you want something a little bit different. So you can click within this area here and click on the branding icon from the interface at the bottom there. And then you can make changes. So that's the globe linear. Let's take a look at what some of the other options are. Popular one is cubes. That's kind of cool. Let's try Energy Blue. Also very cool. I've looked at this one before, Grassroots. I kind of like that one. You know what, let's, let's go with that one. Uh, what I can do to customize that is I can add my own video title to overlay over top of the graphic here. And you can make some selections as to where that title's placed. Here's an example of what I was talking about earlier. The video title, let's just type in something here. Booking your vacation. Okay. Um, I would like to be able to change the font. I don't see any way that I can do that unless I'm missing something. Um, you can change the position of where that, that title will appear. Down here in the bottom left looks nice. I would ideally like to be able to make that a dark font instead of a light font, just because this particular um, video theme is kind of light. So I think I'd prefer something with a bit more contrast. But, uh, you know, regardless, I think this will work for, for our purposes here today. So let's continue to play the project. Hi guys, my name is Paul, and today we're going to book a vacation from the Trip Central West Resort. So right around here, I think, you know, at this point you start to realize, well, I, where's this Trip Central website? So I think what I'll do is I'll check, check off one of the views that's different from just the webcam view. Uh, and I think maybe a good choice would be to show, uh, to continue to show my webcam view, but also show my desktop so people are not wondering what it is that I'm looking at. So let's try that and we'll see what that looks like. And very quickly, I think I realized that, you know, if we're, we're doing a tutorial, I think most users are going to want to see a little bit closer up what we're looking at there. So let's switch to presentation only at this point. Okay. 
So because the uh, focus on this particular part of the, uh, the, the presentation is going to be on this upper right hand area, I'm going to want to use the pan and zoom controls. And if you click on those, that's going to replace the previous um, panel with the pan and zoom panel. And I can actually adjust that pan and zoom to come in nice and close. I'll get as close as I can possibly get to this filters area here. And we'll see what that looks like. And I think at this point, I, I noticed that I'm not sure that people would necessarily see that I clicked on the set price range uh, to bring up the next item. So I'm actually going to use the annotation feature. Now, when you click on the annotation feature, when you have a pan and zoom already initiated, it's going to look like it's zooming all the way back. Uh, not to worry though, that's just temporarily while you temporary while you set the, the annotation. I'm going to make a purple circle around that, that uh, particular link so that people know that uh, that's what I'm clicking on to enter in the upper price range that I wanted to select at that point. So let's turn off the annotation at the bottom there and see what that looks like. So that's kind of cool. I'm going to go back to annotation though, and I'm just going to move this back a little bit to occur before, right about there, I think. So let's try that. And I don't want to pay more than about $1,300. Yeah, I like that. So now the focus of this web page will be on the rest of the web page. So we're going to change that, that pan and zoom. To be on this area here. That looks good. Keep in mind there's also trim controls. I don't think I'll need it in this case, but if I was waiting a long time for a web page to load or if I said something that, that just maybe wasn't appropriate in the end, I could cut that out from the actual video. So at this point, I think I want to uh, zoom out so I can see the full screen here, or perhaps at least just the areas of the screen that I'll be referring to. Uh, let's pick something that looks kind of nice. That looks pretty good there. And let it play. So I think what I'll do is I'll add another annotation at this point. Uh, we'll use the, let's say we'll just use the highlight option here or uh, rectangle option and we'll select blue for fun and just highlight this area here so that people know that's what I'm clicking on and that'll be for the rest of the video portion of this. So let's go back and take a look at that. And there's the end branding for my particular theme that we chose. So I'm pretty happy with that video. That's got all the 
the um, the dynamic elements that I was hoping to uh, to include. And what I can do now, of course, is I can click on the publish icon in the bottom right hand corner here and give it a, a name here. We'll just call it PVX for now and click yes. And now I'll have the opportunity to choose how I'd like to publish this. I didn't mention it before, but you can add questions to Adobe Presenter Video Express and actually publish it for uh, SCORM compliant learning management systems. Uh, in this case here, I'll just be publishing this as a YouTube video. So I can select that option and uh, it'll, of course, give me a reminder that the LMS functionality won't work. And then I can publish this project accordingly uh, right up to my YouTube channel if I wish. Guys, if you thought this video was useful, please share it with your colleagues. If you need help building your next e-learning project, consider hiring me. My focus is always to create effective learning that helps you achieve your business goals. Visit my website at paulwilsonlearning.com. Follow me on Twitter at paulwilsonld. And don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel.